My name is Elise, I'm a junior and currently I'm an AGS major, Health and Exercise Science, and, um, but I also work with Dr. Ketchum in the biology department. So uh, my research is on the effect of nicotine and cotinine on the development of a species of blowfly um, known as Cochlemia macellaria. We basically obtained um, pupae, of, um, pupae of the macellaria maggots from Texas A&M and we kind of reared them into adult flies and they laid eggs and then the eggs we put on liver that was treated with nicotine or cotinine and cotinine is a primary metabolite of nicotine and so you know the eggs hatch into maggots and then they you know ingest the drug and ingest the liver and then we kind of measure their length and weight and observe you know how long it's taken them to develop into certain stages of development and then from that we um, kind of um, you know graph the results we basically found that the higher doses of nicotine and cotinine affected their development more than the lower doses so we kind of saw like a like a threshold effect whereas um, you know, the lower doses just didn't really have um, that, an, an impact at all over their development, whereas the high ones, um, like the lethal doses in our case, were the maggots showed lower weights and lower lengths and, and increased length of development. Uh, with this, we can apply it to the field of forensic entomology, which is um, where we take into account the postmortem interval, which is how long a body has been decomposing. And so, say a body has been found who, you know, we found that it overdose on nicotine and from that it can also have cotinine in its system. So the insects found on that body can then be analyzed and um, you know if, if the forensic entomologist doesn't take into account the maggots eating the drug then they could overestimate how long the body was has been decomposing which can lead to you know wrongful incrimination of a suspect or something. So being a recipient of the Undergraduate Research Award, it will help us um, continue to bring in funding to continue our study for next semester and currently because GCMS and our supplies are expensive and so um, the award validates the, that the research we're doing is important and so we can continue that um, with the next few semesters. Me, on behalf of my group that we worked with, you know, we're just very thankful for the OU libraries and all the resor resources you guys allowed us to use, um, you know, with data analysis and Zotero even and you know searching for scholarly articles and stuff like that um, it's just it's really helped us with our research and to any of you undergraduates you know debating on going into research just just do it I was very nervous you know going into I had no research experience whatsoever and neither did any of my lab mates either and two of them were freshmen even and so um, you know you just you go into it you learn very you learn so much hands-on it's just really interesting you get to do science just with everyone it's just it's just really fun and so don't hesitate just go and just go into it and you'll love it